Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the thrilling Fawn Manor, where it is one final science fiction book haul today for the Vintage Science Fiction Project. It's so exciting. I don't know if you know about my Vintage Science Fiction Project. I'll leave the video I made about it down below because it's so darn exciting you don't want to miss it. Basically, I've got down in the vault of ancient science fiction below the manor, guarded by strange robotic guardians, are a bunch of boxes and boxes of vintage science fiction. I've got these plastic, basically they're a bunch of plastic, weatherproof tubs, full of vintage science fiction books. And I'm going to try to read them all before I die, but if I just let Roger keep buying more and more of them, well, I'll never finish them. So we're working on the last box of Vintage Science Fiction. I have a little room in that box left, and so I let Roger buy some more Vintage Science Fiction to fill up that box. And I think I've got, I've got a few books here that I think will fill up that last final box of Vintage Science Fiction. One of them actually is going into the box I'm reading now because that is this one. This is Revolt of the Micronauts by Gordon Williams. The third book in the exciting Micronauts trilogy, which I have in the box that I'm working on now. I'm reading through the box currently that this series is in. I have the first two Micronauts books in that box and I heard through the comments that there was a third. So here it is. You know, you know, we just had to go out and get it, or order it in this case. Revolt of the Micronauts by Gordon Williams. So that's in the current box that I'm working on now. All this other stuff is going to go in the final box. This is it, Roger. The last box of vintage science fiction. So we're going to start off with Frank Herbert's Eye. Frank Herbert's Eye which is a collection of stories and stuff from Frank Herbert. I glanced through the introduction, actually. I started reading and I had to read it, the introduction to this book, because this apparently was released along with or shortly after the film of Dune, it seems like, because Frank Herbert talks a lot of his, about his thoughts on the film version of Dune, the original film version of Dune, and his thoughts about how close it was to the novel and whether it will endure endure it's interesting to read that now i think uh the dune film from the 80s is not particularly well regarded i don't think i don't think it has a ton of fans uh, i'm pretty sure he does mention some things in the introduction about that he doesn't like about the movie but mostly He's pretty positive about the film. I imagine part of that is that he was so invested and involved in the making of the film. At least he seem, it seems like he was. So yeah, Frank Herbert's Eye. I read that little part of it just for that. But there's a bunch of stuff in here, stories and things. So Frank Herbert's Eye, this is the first item that goes in the final box of vintage science fiction, the last one. So... I have some pretty random stuff here, <laughs> as usual. So this is The Watch Below by James White. The Watch Below by James White. The handful of survivors could be saved, but only by aliens who were a mortal threat to the rest of humanity. Okay, sold. I'm interested in finding how that works out in the Watch Below by James White. I've never heard of this particular book. Has anyone heard of this particular book? Every time I say that, it ends up being like some super famous book that I'm stupid for not having known about. So we'll see if this is one of those times. Next, Keith Lommer and Worlds of the Imperium. Worlds of the Imperium by Keith Lommer. This is in pretty good shape this old ace paperback. So of course I picked it up. I don't think I have this, but I might have this. I might have a copy of this. It's just so cool 
how could I not? It's got the Roman dudes and the nuclear explosion in the background. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks cool. Worlds of the Imperium. So I've got that for the final box. Now, this one is interesting. This is from Lloyd Alexander, and I've never read this. This is The Book of Three. The Book of Three. It's from the author of the Black, is it the Black Cauldron or the Dark Cauldron? Oh man, I can't remember. It's the Black Cauldron by Lord Alex, uh, Lloyd Alexander. But he also wrote this one. This is the Book of Three with this really scary looking dude with a sword on the horse. So yeah, the Book of Three, fantasy, old school fantasy there. Next, going back to, back to straight up science fiction with this one. This is Judith Merrill's The Tomorrow People. The Tomorrow People. He came back from Mars with a secret too terrible to remember. There was something on Mars that killed people. There is, actually. It's called radiation. There's solar radiation on Mars, and if you go to Mars, it will kill you. So there is something on Mars that will kill you if you go there, but does it have anything to do with what's in the Tomorrow People? Probably not. Probably not, but you know, there's something so bad, something so awful on Mars that, you know, can't even remember it, this guy. That sounds kind of interesting. Next is The Impossibles, a science fiction novel by Mark Phillips, author of Brain Twister. Crime Wave, 1972, the future. 1972 was the future. In the near future, I think. This is from the 60s. The strange power. The strange powers of the minds of tomorrow. In two words. Impossible. Okay? In two words. Impossible. It was the impossibles. There we go. All set with the impossibles. Next. Untouched by human hands. Untouched by Human Hands by Robert Sheckley. 13 stories of the beings who dwell on the strange borders of reality. That sounds fantastic. I'm all in on that one. Untouched by Human Hands. That sounds cool. Next we have Alexei Pension with Starwell. It's Starwell. Apparently this was the first book in a series. I got the first two. I have no idea if they're any good or if they're terrible, but it's got this frog dude on it, so how bad can it be? It's Alex Pushin's Pension, Alex Pension's Starwell, Starwell, and its sequel, The Thurb Revolution. The Thurb Revolution. I, 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 is that a Thurb? I don't know. Looks pretty happy. Doesn't look like he's revolting, but who knows? Who knows what's going on in the Third Rev Revolution? I guess I'll find out eventually when I read this book. Next, it's Cord Wainer Smith. Cord Wainer Smith makes an appearance with Space Lords. It's Space Lords by Cord Wainer Smith. It's Space Lords. Yeah. Their power reached across space and time. To defy them was death or worse. Man, worse than death, Roger. I wonder what that could be. I don't know. Space Lords. Guess we'll find out with the Space Lords. This one looks particularly cheesy. This is Beyond the Barrier of Space. Beyond the Barrier of Space by Pel Toro. Pel Toro is Beyond the Barrier of Space. Alien influences from beyond the space barrier threatened the world of men. So yeah, beyond the barrier of space. There you go. Good stuff. Beyond the barrier of space. Then we've got Sam Kornbluth, Kornbluth and Frederick Fole with the wonder effect. The wonder effect. Whatever that is going on on that cover, that's the wonder effect. It's... It's wonderful. It's C.M. Kornbluth and Frederick Fole's The Wonder Effect. Stories. This is a collection of stories by these two. Stories by the famous science fiction team. And they were a pretty good team. So 
I'm excited to read these stories. Eventually, when I get to it. Next, it's Conquest. It's the Conquest of Earth. The Conquest of Earth. Yes, the Masters of the Planet Earth. The Scarlet Order of Men. This is by Manly Banster. Conquest of Earth, we have some guy that's looking up at an airplane or something. And you could barely see it, but way back there, there's a guy waving his arms in the air like he don't care. And yeah, that there's something's going on on this cover. I don't know what, but perhaps it has something to do with the conquest of Earth. Or maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't read the book, but he's interested in something. Something's going on there. I'm not sure what. One more book. Just one more book. That's it. That's it. It's not a huge... Not a huge haul today. Close to Critical. It's Close to Critical by Hal Clement, by the author of Mission of Gravity, an original science fiction novel. Close to Critical by Hal Clement. So, Close to Critical. Here we go. One more book. One last book. This is it for the science fiction, the vintage science fiction project. One more box, one more book, and this should fill up that box. So now I just have to read every book from every box, one box at a time. So, you know, that'll be no problem. I'll get right to that. I'm sure I'll finish that before I'm dead. No problem. And so, yeah, I'm going to get on that. Got some other exciting videos coming up. Got a book review video of a booktuber's book coming up soon. Tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe I will. Maybe. We'll see. And then I'm going to be talking about the unhaul of doom that I'm doing. The unhaul of doom. I've, I'm actually unhauling a ton of books. About half my books I'm unhauling. Approximately half. And maybe more. It's a lot of books I'm getting rid of. A ton, actually. And so that's going to clear up some space in here. And it's going to uh, empty out a lot of boxes. I don't know what I'm going to do with all those boxes. Hey, Roger, you got any ideas? He might have an idea, too. Well, we'll figure it out, and we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time.